Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today we're going to take on a challenge. We're going to try for the achievement, a job is only worth it if it's done well, which means a delivery of over a thousand kilometers without any fines, without any accidents or damage to the trailer and making it on time. So for me, <laughs> this is a big challenge, a thousand kilometers, 15 hours of driving of game time driving. So we'll see how that works. But before we start out on that, I did want to mention that I've changed my world map. So I had the pro mods in. It's kind of a, an extension. I had a pro mods a map mod in. And basically that's a fantastic mod that if we saw it, if you remember some of the early episodes, you can drive up to the northern part of Scandinavia. It just greatly increases the number of cities in the game world and extends the distance beyond the regular game that you can drive down. I think it was into Greece and into Spain and stuff like that. The problem with that, however, is how it relates to these external contracts. So the external contracts are contracts that sync with the World of Trucks server. And when you're doing those, the World of Trucks server every once in a while checks your position to make sure you're not cheating. Well, because the Pro Mods map mod moves around a lot of locations and stuff like that, especially when you're crossing ferries, a lot of those sinks fail. And so I had another problem, excuse me, had a problem the other night where I was trying to do a delivery from Cologne to Brussels and I got there and it just wouldn't recognize that I had made the delivery. And then every time, it seems like the event, I had to reset it and it kept chucking me back in Plymouth. So finally I said, I really want to do the external contracts a lot and I was trying to, avoiding, it was just getting to be more of a pain than it's worth it at this point because I've never played the game before so there is still a ton of game world here to explore. I mean so much to drive in. So I don't really need the extra places to go at this point in time. So we, I switched it back, I pulled those mods out and now we just got the vanilla map that comes with the basic game plus the DLC. So we're gonna use that and that should enable us to use all the external contracts. And at some point I might start another version of this with the map mods, uh, act, the pro mods installed and active and not worry about the external contracts. But for now, it's just creating more headaches than I felt like it was worth. So I've disabled that mod, which makes our map a little bit simpler. That would also, also help too with keeping track of some of the achievements because that map mods added a lot of cities to France. So it was hard to tell which ones you needed to go to to qualify for the achievement. But now it makes it just a lot clearer and a lot cleaner. And it'll be easier to get the explored map part too. Right now we're at 6% and there's an achievement for that at 60%. So I like, I think a lot of positives for this, but it does change how things look. And as you'll notice, it once again sent us back to Plymouth. So <laughs> we're back here again for like the fourth time. But that aside, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of positives. We have 140,000 euros right now. So we need 40,000 euros to get to our, I'll be able to buy our first garage. I wanna buy it somewhere down here in central Germany. So we'll be relatively close to the center of the map. So I'm thinking Mannheim or Nuremberg or Frankfurt, maybe Erfurt or Kassel, somewhere in here so that we're right kind of centralized in Europe so that it's easy to get around from different places and get back to our base. With that in mind, I found here a extern an external contract that is, it was right here, it's a Mannheim plastic film rolls. It is a 15 hour and 15 minute trip, 50 kilometers over a thousand. So that would qualify us if we can make it without any accidents, without any fines, without doing any damage to the trailer and making it on time, that would qualify us for that achievement. So challenge accepted, can we make it? And off we go. Let's start this delivery. I'll update us uh, as I see where we are. I think I'll probably update us as we get started here. So we've been to this Tranmere place a number of times and I think I've delivered plastic film, roll, film rolls or maybe that was, I was watching a Parkera video where he was doing it. I don't get why you'd have a whole truck roll of load of um, plastic film rolls, but anyway, you do. So we're at our base right now. It looks like it's about 11 o'clock at night. A little bit tired, uh, running out of gas, but we'll get started here. And then once we get the, uh, the, the delivery picked up, we'll get, we'll join back in here. So uh, see you in a little bit. So we've uh, picked up our load here. It's just a regular trailer. We've seen this before, this narrow exit. Hopefully we don't screw this up before we even start, but there's our trailer all loaded up with plastic film rolls. Who knows why people are still using plastic film rolls in this world today, but that aside, let's see if we can not screw this up right on the way. We have to get out and turn right, which is not going to be easier. This might actually be one of the trickier parts of the journey here. This always feels so narrow. 
hopefully we don't scrape the side of the trailer right to start and or like wipe out that bush on the other side of the road to look to the right here looks pretty good let's go straight out make a nice wide turn no cars coming excellent let's turn and we made it okay so we're on the road we'll check in again in a little bit as we get on the highway or if we get a fine <laughs> or if we get <laughs> some kind of an accident here let's not run that first red light see you in a little bit so we are uh, running down by the coaster you can see the water off to the right here we're behind now this really slow truck there is uh, it's a two-way lane here we're just creeping along at a fraction of the speed limit because mr lkw here is a very slow moving vehicle tempted to pass but i tempted to not have a head-on collision in doing it we don't have a lot of pickup i think these film rolls might be heavy i forget the the load on it might be 20 tons of these things but it feels heavy we're, we're, we're having trouble with pickup and stuff so I don't really have enough oomph to pass this thing. Now it's moving along fine. So I guess we'll see how it goes. But made it about an hour. Uh, no accidents. No speeding tickets uh, yet. And this is a world of contract, a world of uh, trucks contract, an external contract. So I think the time limit is based on real time. So that shouldn't be an issue as long as I do it in the next couple hours. I think we have 12 hours of real time to be able to complete it. So the time issue shouldn't be a factor it's more can we not make a mistake and can we not with a speeding ticket or get an accident or does one of these ai drivers gonna kamikaze our truck here and screw us all up but so far so good uh, the distance said a thousand something kilometer thousand um, uh, fifty kilometers on the contract but when we started it was actually almost 1100 kilometers so we've gone a little over 100 kilometers now but we've chopped off, I think it was 15 hours and 50 minutes, and we're down to about 14, hour, 14 hours and 6 minutes. So closing in on 2 hours done out of s almost 16 with no accidents yet. So, so far, so good. We'll be back in a little while. This, this two-lane highway makes me a little nervous here, but it's kind of a fun drive. I'd have to be pretty in the, the daytime. Whoops, 86. Don't get a speeding ticket. Whew, that was close. See you in a bit. So we pulled off to the side of the road because we're getting close to sleepy. We're going to have to stop twice to sleep anyway. So let's catch eight hours of sleep here. Shake the shoulders out. And I'd like to get gas here, but oh well. I don't think I can pull back into that easily. So let's just, and we'll skip the gas part. So now what time is it? Uh, noon time. Wow, slept for, for about four in the morning till noon time. And we've got about 12 hours. So we're about 25% of the way done. No fines, no accidents yet. Still a lot of wheeling to go here. I'm kind of wondering if we can make it or not. Uh, it was, I, I wonder if day is better for something like this because you know one of the things I notice is that it, it sometimes I don't feel like there's as much traffic at night, but it's easier to see in the daytime. So I guess I wonder if people have driven this for a while. Do you find it easier to be safer at night or is it easier to be safer during the daytime? Not sure. But anyway, we're back on the road, still kind of heading east across the southern part of England. We can see the English countryside on both sides of the road. It looks like a beautiful day, good weather, which should help. Got my iced tea. Whoops. Weaving in all the lanes here. That's not a good sign. But we'll be back as we have about 10 hours to go or if something unfortunate happens. So far, so good. So we are at the Dover Tunnel entrance. We have to get on the train without hitting anything. About a little bit over 10 hours to go, so about a little bit over five hours done, so maybe a third of the way there now. No tickets, no accidents, hanging on so far. Should, excuse me, should pay attention to what I'm doing here. But that was a fairly easy drive, I felt like. So let's, um, we're going to Calais. Let's do that, depart, and pay for our fee this should work now because we're not using the mod so even though it's a world of trucks contract we shouldn't have any sinking problems perfect we are here and i guess we just go out on either side let's just do this way i guess huh so i feel like we need to back up just a little bit here let's do that don't want to hit anything so we'll um, be back as we get back on the road here. We'll just get off the train. 
and get this on the road. Let's not hit anything as we get off. That would suck. That looks pretty good, I think, huh? Just trying to check both ways. Looks like we're good on the left, good on the right. Trying to be really patient here and take my time so I don't get any kind of stupid little dings on the truck that damage it. But so far, so good. We'll be, oh, look, nine and a half hours to go. And I wonder if we sleep when we go through that. Looks like we've completely rested again. We do need gas pretty soon, but we'll get on the road here and check back in. Maybe when there's about uh, a little bit less than eight hours to go, that would be about halfway. So, so far, so good. Nice to get this achievement on the first try. I'd be be super impressed with myself if I were able to do that, considering my general track record for hitting things and finding some ways to have natural disasters happen while I'm driving. But so far, so good. So we are over halfway, seven and a quarter hours left to go, but under 500 kilometers. There's balloons up above us in the sky. We are crossing a border here. Is this coming into Germany? And a couple of close calls with speed limits. Some of those French places like Lille has a spot on this map. It wasn't on ProMods. It was different, I think, where you had to just immediately slow down from 90 to 80, then to 70 as you went near the town there. Almost caught us there, but so far so good. We uh, got a full tank of gas now. We're gonna have to sleep one more time, but I wanna catch the sunlight driving before you have to do that. So we'll check back in in a couple more hours, maybe when there's five hours left, but eight hours down, seven to go. We're still good. We haven't hit anything, no tickets, and we should still be on time. So fingers crossed we can keep this up. I'm probably gonna get a straight rotor and then take a little bit of a break just to stretch my legs though in real life because it's actually turning out to be about uh, an hour drive. So, uh, and I, my dog is behind me here and he's getting itchy. He wants to go out. So I'm gonna need to take a five minute break and then come back to it. But so far, so good. I would be stunned if we got it on the first try because I don't think I've driven, I don't, a thousand kilometers without something happening. So I'm super focused on it, but I still don't think I can do it. I'd be amazed if I got it in the first shot. I figured this would be like five episodes worth of attempts, <laughs> you know, but uh, we'll see. Still a lot of wood to chop. So we'll be back in a little bit. I'm actually going to pop and take a break now here. So let's see if I can hit that. Breaks actually when I usually screw everything up. Okay, there we go. I'll be back in a sec. Whew. Did you see that? <laughs> no one would let me get in. I it was so close to having an accident with four hours and 39 minutes to go, but we made it. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy there. So uh, anyway, quick update. We're going to need to sleep pretty soon, but I want to keep driving in the daylight while I can. So I'm probably going to go another half an hour, hour, and then try to ca catch some shut eye. We've got four and a half hours, 263 kilometers left to go. Still no tickets, still no accidents, but that's what we call a close call back there. <laughs> so we'll keep trucking on here and see how we're doing. All right, sun's going down. We need to sleep. We've got four hours to go, so we're going to crash right here. And let's get eight hours of sleep. Should be just about daybreak. Nice, perfect, as we start out again. So we missed the whole night driving. Let's get back on the highway here. Excuse me. So a little over four hours to go. 11 hours in the bank. And I don't think we've damaged the truck or gotten a speeding ticket yet. So fingers crossed we can seal the deal here. We'll. we'll check back in in a couple hours or if something happens. So, uh, whoa, <laughs> two hours to go. Uh, we've been on this windy two lane highway. We're changing speed limits for the past hour or so of game time driving and almost got a speeding ticket once. It went from 80 to 60 and I didn't catch it. Just out of the corner of my eye, I saw the red light, the red flash on my speedometer. And I thought, oh, when I hit the brakes and I think I just missed the ticket there. So 84 kilometers to go, hour and 47 minutes, we're still alive. 
<laughs> but this is tricky driving. So, whoa, speaking of which, I just went over the speed limit, but not enough. We'll keep plugging along. We'll check in as we're getting closer. Hopefully, gosh, it's why is it 60 here? Truck just wants to move. But oh, this car is going to pass me uphill. That's perfectly fine. Is that a police officer? I don't know. But that's perfectly safe. Anyway, uphill passing. But not that we're complaining. So we're going to kind of hit this 60 kilometers per hour and hopefully try to stay at this. And hour and 32 minutes to go. Fingers crossed we can make it. It'd be cool to make it on the first attempt. So we'll check back in a little bit. A lot of birds in the sky. Just saying. Pay attention. <clears throat> Already but got a speeding ticket from a giraffe. This feels ominous. 40, oh, 30. Whoa, nice try, game. <laughs> There's no sign for that. Why did it? Why is it? Okay, I guess there's, yeah, 30. Makes sense, I guess, but trying to catch you there. Too quick for him. <laughs> I feel like this last two hours, or the last hour has been really tricky, but we'll keep moving along. Back up to 60. Okay, let's go, 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 truck. Plastic film rolls are really heavy, by the way. I, I have no why, no idea why. I would think they'd be super light. I mean, it's film, right? A little. Well, anyway. Be positive. Sorry. So we've been kind of nursing the speed limit here. I'm not sure if you can see behind me in the lower left-hand mirror. There's probably a dozen cars and trucks backed up behind us because we haven't been going that fast. And we don't have a lot of pickup with these super heavy film rolls, but it's kind of funny to see all the cars just piled up behind us here. Hopefully they don't ram into us. About an hour to go. Whoops, watch that speed limit. So here we are, 12 minutes to go. Let's think we're still doing okay. We're in Mannheim, there's the city limit sign. Speed limit now 70, still 60 for us apparently. This is the trickiest part, right? This, the city here, I feel like this is the easiest place where you get kind of a dumb driver. Five minutes, we just have to go straight down here and left and then we got it. Watch the speed limits, it's 50 now. All oh, these traffic lights. These are killers because they're not very forgiving. You get like part way out. I want to make sure this car goes straight because I got nailed once. If you remember one of the earlier videos, the truck had the green light. It pulled out, stopped in the intersection. I got like part way through. And I think if the back of your truck is still in the intersection, it gives you a red light violation. So last thing we want is a red light violation here. Okay, cleared that light. Three minutes to go. Another tricky part is going to be pulling in at the end. Whoa, okay. Watch our speed limit. Just got to go straight down here and around the corner. Unless I miss something, I think we got it. I mean, it's possible I hit something and I didn't know it, but I don't think so. Nice if it's a nice, easy entry. Probably should do the automatic parking too, but let's see what the easy parking looks like. That'd be funny to like damage the truck parking <laughs> at the end. Here it is, Transinet. I think that's where we're going. This must be our entrance. Could we get this achievement on the first try? Just got to pull in there. Let's take it nice and wide. I think it was Fox Gaming that told me that with a nice comment. Do not want to hit the gate there. Pull in. Looking pretty good. Let's hit that. Enter. Let's do the easy parking. Right on the left there. Confirm. Sure. Let's go to the left. Come on. Where is it? Right there. Are we going to get it? That would be totally awesome. That would be a nice achievement to get. 1,000 kilometer journey with no fines or violations. Or damage. Right there. Let's see if we got it. What do you think? T. You won't be able to see it, but I'll, I'll put a screenshot of it up there if we do get it. Yes! Achievement unlocked. Job is only worth it if it's done well. We got it on the first try. A thousand kilometer journey with no damage, no fines, and on time. That was really fun. If you're playing the game and you haven't gotten that achievement yet, I mean, probably if you played a lot, you've probably got it just by the nature of playing. 
but it is a little nerve-wracking there because you can't screw up at all especially if you've only just started out i tend to screw up pretty regularly so 23,000 euros in the bank. We spent a couple thousand on the boat across, on the ferry across. We are now in the middle of level 12. And let's see how we're doing on progress to our first uh, extra garage here. So we have 163,000. We need 180,000. And I want to go probably like 10, 15,000 over it. So maybe I'll do one more delivery, maybe 10, 20,000. Then we'll try to come back. Maybe the second journey, next episode probably. I think we can do it too figure out where to buy a new garage and I wonder if there's one in Mannheim here I think I saw a question mark on the map so there's a question mark there I don't know what that is that might be a garage this wouldn't be uh, the worst place to have a second base right because Mannheim is pretty central and I was thinking maybe Nuremberg might be better but this is hardly the worst place to be so this might be the home of our second base. I'd like to get a little more east, maybe Frankfurt or Nuremberg. But yeah, this is pretty good. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new and want to keep track of what's going on, please consider subscribing. Notifications if you want to know exactly when something comes out. Hope your trucking adventures are going well and that you're having fun gaming and staying safe and all those kinds of things. And we'll see you again on the next episode. Thanks for joining in. Bye.